and in this lecture we are going to see about the the main causative agents causing atypical pneumonia that is main bacterial causative agents okay so first let's see about mycoplasma pneumonia so this is a most common bacterial agents causing atypical pneumonia so usually these mycoplasma species the mycoplasma species that resemble the viruses in certain properties like they are very small so like viruses they are very small measured in nanometers that is it's around 150 to 350 nanometer in size and they are filterable by bacterial filters so in that way it resembles the properties of viruses but they differ from viruses however they differ from viruses because they are free living in the environment unlike viruses and they can grow on artificial cell free culture media so in that way it differs from viruses and also they lack a rigid cell wall usually bacteria will have a rigid cell wall right uh, made up of peptidoglycan but and uh, lipolipid membrane but here it is replaced by a cell membrane containing sterols so this lack a rigid cell wall it doesn't have a rigid cell wall therefore they are completely resistant to antibiotics that is cell wall acting antibiotics that is beta lactams okay so this lack a uh, rigid cell wall that's why they are completely resistant to cell wall acting antibiotics such as beta lact right and the main characteristic feature is this is pleomorphic that is variable morphological forms okay they exist in variable morphological forms like it can be coccoid or uh, uh, bacillary form or filamentous or even in helical forms that's why it's called spiroplasmas so it, it can be seen in various forms and they are poorly gram negative uh, but better stained by gm sas stain so they are poorly stained by gram stain but better stained by gene sustain okay and they reproduce by binary fission and budding and uh, they are non sporing non flagellated usually non motile but they have certain uh, motility like gliding motility this is mainly because of their tip structure because of the specialized strip structure it can have a gliding motility uh, but as it doesn't have any motility okay but because of their specialized tip structures the gliding motility can be appreciated and uh, these are contaminants of cell cultures usually mycoplasmas are common contaminants of continuous cell lines okay thus interfere with the growth of viruses in cell culture it could be a contaminant in cell cultures so it can interfere with the growth of viruses in cell cultures and l form what is l form as mycoplasmas lack cell wall permanently as i said it lack a rigid cell wall so it doesn't have a cell wall right so it has been suggested that mycoplasmas may represent stable l forms of bacteria but genetic and antigenic and biochemical properties do not support this hypothesis since they lack a cell wall permanently it has been suggested mycoplasmas may represent stable l forms of bacteria but certain uh, the genetic properties and other biochemical properties do not support this hypothesis okay so these are the major properties of mycoplasma right so it uh, resemble viruses in certain properties and differ from viruses in certain properties and uh, this is a picture that is this is a schematic diagram of mycoplasma here uh, you can see the I mean outer lipoprotein membrane and inside you can see the soluble protein and the soluble rna and also dna inside ribosomes all this is a schematic diagram of mycoplasma and this is a electron micrograph of mycoplasma colonies here you can see the filamentous forms and the various form pleomorphic morphology of the mycoplasma okay